Today I'm going to show you how to build this medieval house in Minecraft. This is the build taken from my survival series, although we have changed the roof out from bricks to deep slate. This build will also include a full interior, so be sure to stay through till the end. And with that being said, let's take a look at the layout and materials, and let's build this. We're going to start by raising our pillars to the height shown on the floor plan. These have been color coded to make it easier. We will also be using the stripped dark oak logs for the pillars themselves. The walls are marked in white and grey wall and we're going to build these to a total of 6 blocks high except for the first two sections which are only going to be 5 blocks high. We're going to build this with stone and come back later to do the texturing. We will leave this final section open for our doorway. Heading over to the back left of the build, we will add one more layer for our tower. Using stripped dark oak logs, we're going to place beams for the upper level. Please place close attention to the location that I placed them. Next we will add some spruce stairs for supports for some of our pillars on the upper level. We will start by placing two on the side and then a few around the back. These will be on every other block. Using stripped dark oak logs, let's add our final pillars for the upper level. We will start on the left side here, adding two three block high pillars on the spruce stairs. We'll replace this one and face it into the log going into the side. On the right hand corner we will add an 8 block high pillar. Leaving a 4 block gap between the pillar here, we will then place another pillar here which is 6 blocks high. On the beam here place one block and then add a 7 block high pillar. Now we will go around to the back and we will add two seven block high pillars on the edge of the corner. Finally, we will place two logs on the corners, replace this one with one going in, the same on this side and then two on the corners. It's time to add some flooring. For this I will be using spruce planks. We will start by doing the lower ground first. Section off the area by the door and fill the remaining area. Once your flooring is in place, go ahead and do the same on the floor above. This will be in line with the beam that we have placed. Be sure to add some light in to avoid any mobs from spawning. Next we're going to be adding the walls for the upper levels. These are going to be done with white concrete and we will be coming back later on to texture them up to make them look a little bit worn. 
please pay close attention to the numbers as these will be varying in different heights. From the upper level and facing towards the front, we will go ahead and build a seven block length wall here and we will bring it up until it is five blocks high. To the right, we'll bring two up to five blocks and then two up to four blocks. In the three block gap here, we will bring it up to three blocks. Now for our tower, we will raise these to four blocks high. Final one on the corner here will be one block higher at five blocks. Then between the two pillars at the back, we'll bring this all the way across and bring this up to five blocks high in total. Finally, at the side here, we will fill both these sections to four blocks high. Next, we're going to start adding in our roofs using deep slate. So using the four blocks, we're going to start by placing five blocks across this pillar here. We're going to wrap it round like this and then add two more just here. We will add three across the front here, five around here, and then from this pillar all the way to this pillar, we will connect them up like so. Using slabs, we're going to go ahead and just fill in the gaps. And then finally, we're going to take our spruce slabs and from the top here, we're going to place one here, one underneath, and we're just going to step them down until we are one out at the front. Bring them all the way across, place another one on the lower half of the blocks here, and then we're just going to bring them all the way around just like this. Next, we're going to head over to the side here and right in line here, we're going to create the overhang for the little side piece. So we'll place one there step it down again and again and we want to keep stepping down until we go across by seven blocks so one two three four five six and then just a single one on the seventh block like so we will do exactly the same from the end pillar just here and then connect the two edges up with the slabs Next, with our cobble blocks, we will bring them all the way across at the back. Then we will skip one, bring the four blocks across from here. And then again, from here. And then in the gaps, we will use our slabs. Now we will add the entrance porch and a few details. We will start by placing two slabs here and use a combination of stone bricks and andesite to fill in the floor. Place some upside down spruce stairs. Add one on the ends of the pillars and the bottom of these two pillars here. From the inside here, we will place some lecterns and then we will crouch and place some trap doors on top of them. Place some stone bricks at the top here with some stone brick stairs underneath. Then we can add our two doors from the inside like this. At the front, we will place some fences in front of our pillars. Now we're going to be placing some windows. Now you can place these in different places if you choose, but for now, we're just going to place a few of them around the lower and upper levels.
and a little overhanging shelter at the back of the build. Let's finish up the last part of our walls before we start the roof. Start by placing some upside down stairs at the front here, leaving a one block gap between them and then a slab between the gaps. Place two slabs underneath your windows and then we will get our strip dark oak logs. We will place one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then to the sides, we're gonna place three of our white concrete and then five concrete in the center like so. Then with our strip dark oak logs, we're gonna place three across the gaps just here. And we're gonna go ahead and put some spruce planks just on top of those. Finally, at the very back, we will place a beam with our strip dark oak. Leave a one block gap, we will place three just here and then three just here. And then with the white concrete, we will place two here, two here, and then four in the center. Now heading back to the front, we're going to head right to the left hand side and make a start with our roof. Here we will place a temporary block just here and then a slab to the side. Bring that slab all the way to the front and then overhang it by one block. And then we're going to stair step the slabs all the way up until we attach to the fence. Now at this point here, we're going to go ahead, we're going to place a stair right against that block. It's an upside down one behind it. And we're going to repeat that pattern all the way until we get to the center block, the peak of the roof. Place an upside down stair in the center. One on top and then one upside down one from the front facing outwards. Then we're going to just repeat the pattern going down on the opposite side. Extend your stairs all the way across to the other side and then overhang the edge by one block. And again, we're going to repeat the exact same process. This section of the roof can be a little bit tricky, so please follow along carefully. We we'll start by placing a full block of spruce planks just above in line with our windows. Place a slab in front. Then we're going to place a stair at each side and one on top of the full block. Do the same on this side. Also going to place a stair here and a stair here. Now, using your slabs, we're going to place two on the top half of the first bit of concrete, just like this. And then in the corners, we're going to go ahead and place a four block and then one at each side. Be sure to place one in the corner there. And the same thing on this side, making sure that you have the four block in the corner and then one slab at each side. Place another slab just here. Now, from this side here, we're going to place a plank here and a plank here. We will have a stair here and a stair here. Now, because this is the corner here, we're not going to put a stair here. We're just going to round it off so we have a block to work from. Inside here, we will place two of our planks in each corner. And then one to fill in all of the gaps. Again, we will place a kind of cross in the center. Place two stairs facing from this side and two stairs facing from the opposite side. Place a stair on top of the center blocks all the way around, and then place two of your four blocks, actually three blocks in the center like so. For the top of the tower, you can place three of your spruce fences. 
The remaining part of the roof is pretty simple. We basically just connect the blocks from one side to the next. So using our cobbled deep state, I'm going to go ahead, break this block here and then extend our four block all the way across to here. This block here, we will do exactly the same until we join up on this side. Again, we will do the same from this four block here and bring it across until we reach the stair on this side. Now we're just going to come around to this side and then fill in the gaps with our slabs. Just like so. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our stairs and we're literally just going to bring them all the way across and join them up to the opposite side. Just like this. And we're going to extend that all the way up. At the center, we're just going to basically run a full beam from the center here all the way across to here. So the top point would just be stairs facing outwards like this until we reach the center point and then the same on this side. And then right in the center, we'll place a full block. So all we've got to do now is extend our stairs on this side and extend our stairs across on this side as well. So let's go ahead and get that in place. Next, we're going to add in a chimney along with a few more details. So underneath our shelter on the right hand side over here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our stone bricks. We'll leave a one block gap on that stone there and start from here. We're going to go one, two, three and four. And then from the beam here, we're going to bring some stone blocks all the way down and the same just next to it here. This one here, we're going to add just two blocks there. And then I think we'll add two blocks here and then one block there. Then we're going to place in a stair here, a stair here, a stair there, and a stair there, and finally a stair just there, just to add a bit of shape. And of course, we're going to go ahead and just texture this with a few different blocks. So we're going to use our mossy stone bricks. We'll add some normal stone. And then finally, a little bit of andesite. Just like so. Now coming up above here, we're going to break this one here where the beam is and this one here. And again, we're going to bring stone bricks all the way up till we are two blocks from the top. Then we'll place one to the side. We'll put in a stone brick here, a stone brick here. And then we're going to break that one just there and put in a stone brick. Then up here right above, break these two blocks here, which are going to be basically exactly where this would extend to, which would be these two. So we're going to place two stone bricks here. Then we're going to go one, two, three, and four. Place two on the side here for a second. Two upside down stairs. Break these two. And then two upside down stairs. Then we're just going to place our campfires on the top here. And surround it with some trap doors. On the very top, we're going to just place a couple of andesite wall. And again, as we come down, we're just going to texture a couple of these up with some of our other blocks. Just like so. Now we're going to add a couple of supports for our little shelter here, so place some fences coming all the way down to the ground on the corner. We'll do the same on this corner. We join our fences all the way across here and then all the way down to this side here. Just to make a little sheltered area where you might hot put some of your goods or hay or some barrels and stuff like that. Next, we're going to add a few little supports. So we're going to place a single little stripped dark oak log along with a stair on top. Around to the side here and just pretty much following the same pan all the way around at the corner here we're not going to bring it into the corner we're just going to finish it on the side here so just like this making sure we're facing into the pillar 
like so. Now, let's go ahead and add a few little lanterns just to give us a little bit of extra light. We'll place one underneath here, one underneath here. We're going to need one underneath here because it's going to be pretty dark otherwise. So we'll add a chain roughly around the center with a lantern just underneath. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the slabs. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put them across the edge here. So we have that smooth little transition there and then all the way across here. Just so we have a nicer finish underneath here. Underneath this edge here, we'll do exactly the same thing. Just placing three inside there like so. Now, I like to add some little lights on the corner. So I like to come just in one, place a chain and then a lantern. We'll do the same again over here. So we'll place a chain and then a lantern. Again over here, we'll place a chain and then we'll put in a lantern. Okay, so it just adds a nice little bit of light in around the area. Around the back, we're going to go ahead and do some similar things. We're going to start by adding some spruce fences in the corners of these two. And make sure you also get this one here on this side. Then we're going to go ahead and for this side here, we're going to put in a chain right about... Hmm, we ain't going to actually be able to get one on that side. So we'll have to just come to here. There's a chain and a lantern. Next, we're going to add a few leaves just to add a little bit of detail. So you could drape a couple down here, bring a couple over, maybe something along these lines. You can um, bring one there, maybe even droop a couple down at the center. One more there. Do the same over here. Something like that. It might look a little bit off like that. Actually, let's do something like that. There we go. That's looking good. We can add a little bush just underneath the window ledge there. I'm going to be keeping the texture in very simple. So for the upper level, I'm going to add just a couple of diorite and some calcite. Again, the diorite is going to be just a couple on each wall. So very few that are going to be scattered in between. For the stone below, we're going to be using stone bricks and some andesite. Again, just scattering a few amongst all of the blocks. And then finally, for the roof, we're going to be using some deep slate bricks. These are going to be just scattered in a few in between. So we're going to be using stairs, slabs and the four blocks. Again, just add in a few of them, not too many. Now that we finished the exterior, let's go ahead and do the interior. The interior is going to be based along my survival base. So let's go ahead and get this finished.